properly in the NHS. Well, Romina, first of all, I'm very sorry to hear that you're thinking of leaving the profession because obviously, as you say, you've devoted your life to it for the last 12 years. And obviously, we want good uh, healthcare professionals to stay in the NHS. I mean, if I just step back for a minute, of course, we did ask the NHS to produce its own five-year plan, which it did. We have put the extra funding into the NHS and by 2020, it'll be in real terms £10 billion extra a year. And overall across the NHS, we actually see more doctors and more nurses in the NHS. But we do, of course, want to continue to ensure that we've got the money for a first-class uh, NHS. Um, we're putting more money in on other things, such as helping some of the problems that hospitals particularly see. One of the issues for hospitals we see is this interaction in, with social care, the problems of elderly patients in hospitals. I know as a paediatrician, you're at the other end of the, uh, of the age scale, but elderly patients in hospitals unable to be discharged. That's why we've put some extra money, uh, two billion but extra said, in the budget in social care. If we go by the King's Fund figures, Prime Minister, they would argue that the eight billion pounds that was requested and given to NHS England, if you allow the various other uh, monetary pressures is actually 3.5 billion pounds well actually we didn't just put 8 billion in we've put 10 billion it'll be 10 billion that's going into the nhs by uh, 2020 uh, and that's 10 billion pounds in real terms mm. but yes 